can you hear my voice? <laughs> I'm just making sure. I'm making sure that the chat that I have is updated. Okay, cool. <laughs> Shall we go? Bam, bam, bam. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I hope you are, because I'm starting it right now. But a boom! Hello, everyone. Welcome to the live stream. It is time for more nep neps. Do you have your pudding? You better have your pudding. You know what happens if you don't have your pudding. There we go. Just chuck that into there right there. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're gonna be continuing this game again. Um, we, <laughs> we've, uh, you guys, uh, you guys are spoiled today, aren't you? You got, you guys got a triple, uh, live stream event going on. <laughs> Starting all the way from, like, 5 o'clock. 5.30, technically. <laughs> Two blue reacts and a Neptunia thing. I didn't expect the, the reacts. But freaking Nintendo and uh, Sony were just like, hey, we're doing our thing today. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> when you have four streams, no, I can't do any more after this. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> you crazy. This is, this is also going to be the longest one, too, because we've already done a stream's worth out of the both of them, because one was half hour, and the other one was, like, another half hour. Well, actually, the, other, the one was technically, like, almost an hour long and the other one was like a half hour so now we're just gonna attack another like two and a half hours onto that so yay <laughs> um but yeah so i'm not gonna dilly dally any more time let's just jump right into it <laughs> nipper, 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 nipper. where's my nippers there's my nippers a bunk there we go all right exactly where we left off um which was like yeah, during verse campaign. Um, I'm hoping today we at least get pa past um, all the character campaigns. I think we can do that. Especially with how fast that we kind of have been seeming to blow through this game. Um, as it stands here. I also forget how to do everything and anything in this game. That's the that's player room. I was looking for the scouts. Yeah, those, are, those, those guys are still out doing their things. <laughs> we need to see your progress in Rebirth 1. Um, I have not made much, and to be honest. I have not made very much. I've <laughs> I've been, like, doing other things than doing Rebirth 1. Although I do have it on my um, Steam Deck now, so I do have, like, it as an option for me to do things. I kind of ha have it as, in, like, an option now for me to uh, play while I'm out. And sometimes I do dilly dally with it, so. Um, break and rush. Yes. Take that. Shame. <laughs> it's shame we have to skip the best part of the story. Yes, indeed. Funk, funk. Oh yeah, by the way, I, 
I never did show that off on stream, have I? Hold on, let me let me let me go ahead and uh, just show it off real quickly. Hold on, let me let me have some music in the background though, just to kind of accompany this little moment. <laughs> um, I forgot that I actually didn't <laughs> show that off yet. Yeah, um, it is not a. <laughs> it is actually a thing that exists. Can confirm. Um, hey, let me let me get my uh, full webcam back on too, so you can see this in a better glory. Oh. All right. Um, I haven't decked it out with stickers yet. I still need to do that. But uh, once I do, <laughs> I will. Uh, it'll be even more glorious. So yeah, um, how does this open up again? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I am sorry. But yeah, it came in like, um, maybe about a week ago. And here it is. Look at that, the Steam Deck. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been, I put a couple of games onto this thing, and, um, it's basically, it can basically support most of the games. The only thing is it can't support this game, and it can't support V2. Which I'm sad about, <laughs> because I really wanted to play those games uh, on the go, but um, it seems that we will not have our wish fulfilled. <laughs> Only so many NEP, NEP games can be supported. <laughs> At least you got Rebirth 1, 2, and 3 working though, so that's like that's like the main thing that I was like looking for anyways with that. Um, I'm just going to put you right there. But yeah, it's, it's pretty fun so far. It, it actually runs the games uh, fairly well as well, too. Um, I played I played a, a bit of Rebirth 1 already on there, and uh, some other games, and it runs very well. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice, okay. <laughs> At least we got the original trio, that's all that matters. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Bonk. I love being able to break everything in the game. <laughs> also, let me let me know how um, audio is, because I tried to adjust it uh, for the game. Sounds fine. Okay. I'll try to get one now, but I'm pretty sure the scalpers have already gone to it. Yeah, see, the I, I only got mine as early as I did because I uh, because I was able because I put in a uh, pre-register for it, so I put like five dollars down on it, and then um they told me uh, when it was first getting shipped out uh, when when exactly I could uh, make the full purchase, and they gave me like a window of opportunity to do it. Um. They gave me like a week, I think it was, um, from when it was open to full purchase it fully and then put in my stuff for it. So, they gave me a good amount of time at least to do so. That's the only reason I really got mine when I did. It's pretty cool so far though. It's uh... It's, it's very nice having the uh, ability to play a lot of my Steam games on the go, especially when I have so freaking many of them. Um, sadly, again, all of them are not supported, though, because uh, I guess the Steam Deck hasn't been fully implemented for some of those features. But it's still pretty nice nonetheless. I didn't have to wait almost two years to get it. Yeah, right. They actually they actually delivered it within the time frame that they said they they said they would. I was actually expecting it. I think around um, October. Yeah, I was expecting it October, but they were able to get it to me about uh, a month early. Um, wait, I forget, it's left? Yes, it's left in the D-pad, I got it, of course. Okay. Da -da -da -da. 
Kill the cat! Couple kitty. Base Chad Valve, indeed, right? I mean, I've given him an exorbitant amount of money for all my games already, so. <laughs> the least they can do is give me a portable console, I guess. <laughs> for me to, to play on the go. Now I don't have to play everything from my uh, computer. Some games I might even star in it, because I've been, I've been thinking about starring a few on my own spare time, too. But I, I'm still going to do, like, majority of the Steam streams um, like this, though. But I imagine, like, like after I do the stream streams, basically, maybe then I'll have some more time to play them on the go later. Because what, that's what I mainly like to do with it, is I mainly like to kind of have it for, uh, whenever I like to have it, whenever I had to kind of, like, go out to places with family and such. I, I keep forgetting that this thing, they have a run button in this game. LB, okay. The run, the, the sprinting option makes it, the game so much better already. I just gotta get used to the controls. Break. Also, again, I like being able to just break everything within my path. Ah, no! Bonk! Wow. That's a skill. Actually, let's do Mirage Dance. Bonk. Alright, there's a uh, thing over there. A walk. Eh. Eh. Green cat. Ooh. Wait a minute, is that a uh, thing that I can wear right now? Yes, it is. Oh, nice! It kind of goes with uh, it goes with uh, Lean Box's colors actually a little bit. Has a safety pin accent too. Yeah, it's also better, <laughs> mostly because it's higher rank. But you know. I like the cat ears because of the XP gain, though. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep it then. A bit of unwanted news. My only eraser for drawing. I lost my only eraser for drawings. No, I can't complete any of the drawings. I started dead. <laughs> Damn, man. That sucks. Hopefully you'll be able to find it then. Or at least, or even just get a new one. Wait, did I go through here already? No, I haven't. Wah! How well? Hopefully, I was in the middle of a special Victoria sketch, too. Ooh. I want to see. <laughs> dunk. And dunk. Dunk, dunk. There you go. Um, okay. I'm just trying to remember how to get through these dungeons again. Wee. Ah.
Is this back where I came from, or is this technically forward? Or did I get mismatched when I was going through here? Okay, I'm back in area one. I think that's yeah, I think that's the first one I went into, so I think there should be something different down here. Lines are very light. I want to draw her <laughs> getting a hug and a present for her birthday. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, her her birthday passed recently too, so that would be that would be your nice. The Dio slicer. Oh Dio. <laughs> is any better than what I got? Ooh, it's green. It is higher rank too, so it has more attack. Instead of magic depth and move and speed, it gives me critical and crit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, it looks like it doesn't change any of the combos either, so it's actually pretty good for combos. Or, uh, is it? No, yeah, because that, that's the orange, yeah. So yeah, that's all purple. Good. Perfect. Okay, now Nepgear is stronger. She's strong. Okay, so I'm guessing I had to go, um... Yeah, I had to go up here then. So I did get mismatched here. I actually did go backwards. Whoops. No! I tried to do the last Friday, but I had a lot of stuff that day. Oh, yeah. I wanted to work on it more during the transition period between streams, but again, no racer to fix any of the potential mistakes. Yeah, I imagine that must be quite hard. <laughs> That's why I'm glad I don't really have to, <laughs> I don't have to worry too much about that kind of stuff anymore now because I have my my I do all my stuff digitally now. The only thing is I would have to really re worry about with that is, um, the fact that I would have to, if like if something happened to the tablet, then I wouldn't be able to draw. <laughs> But if anything ever did happen to my drawing tablet, then I would just have to... I probably would just end up getting a new one, because that thing is a little bit outdated now. And I wouldn't mind getting a fancy new one. Yes, yeah, so there's a way to get over there, but then I think we also went in from over here. Yeah, now we're in area four. Yes, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. I think I got mixed up somewhere around here. Oh yeah, I went back that way. That's what it was. I I, I did a dumb and I went back. Let's see what's this way. Oh cool. Hello, Teresa. Green sailor. Again, we're just finding like the good stuff for uh, Netgear in this in this place. Ah, look at that. She's got verse colors. And it gives us acquired XP up. Okay, yep. It's definitely going on, then. Again, this would go perfect with it, but, man, it doesn't have the XP again up. And I do think it stacks. Right? It should stack. So now I'll get even more XP. Icarus now officially a bird sister, right? See, see that's, that's how it works. She's wearing her colors. It's, uh, she's officially her sister now. We. Hey, wool. Now get back here. I wish to slice you in half. Nep them all. Legendary chocolate. Hello? Excuse me? What makes it so legendary? Also, do I... Can I open these things up? And I, I never even, like, looked at that. Or is that an accessory? No. What was that? 
material, I'm guessing. Yeah, there it is. Legendary chocolate. Interesting. Okay. Oh, because they were dropped by the Valentines. Okay, I get it. I wonder if this thing has, like, the other things, though, where... Oh, look at that Xbox expansion. Wait a minute. All right, because I'm able to use that whole that many items now. By the way, because I got the DLC, yeah, I got, um... I, I have a lot of pocket space. I have, like, 9,000 things of pocket space, so... I'm never going to run out of space ever again. Okay. As you should, Virtue's <laughs> never here so well. She deserves such a kind of beautiful sister. <laughs> well, I mean, Neptune also treats her fine enough. It's just, uh, some sometimes she does kind of delve into the, you know, into her nepish ways. But also, I, I feel like Nepcur likes uh, Neptune the most still. She's kind of like biased. She has a bias toward her sister. Hawa. Number five. Yeah. Let me up. Let me up. Let me just stand on that. I can get a reach out there. <laughs> no. God damn it. Can't. It's impossible. Also, I feel like I feel like there was something else to back this way again that I should check before I go here because I think the event's over here. There's an area down here. Nope. I think not, sir. Is it only enemies? It's only enemies. God damn it! I was expecting treasure. My efforts are now wasted. Edgar deserves the best. Eventually, she'll switch sisters. She's a smart girl. <laughs> well, you see the thing. That's the thing. She's supposed to be a very smart and intelligent girl, but she's also very dumb and naive sometimes about a lot of things. She's kind of like she's like intelligent in like a lot of things, except, but she's she doesn't really know what's uh she doesn't really know what's for her own good at least. <laughs> Got some ingots. It's cool with me. Bow, bow. Oh, well. Cool. Alright, I think we're good. Grrr! Skip. <laughs> Hello, Sarveria. Um, I'm going to do that. Okay. Alright, we, we both gotta have something for it. Okay. Broken pannings. I keep forgetting if there's something I can do with here, because it keeps saying weight damage, and I don't know what that means. I keep thinking if I like press a button, maybe it'll do more or something. I don't know. The 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 weight damage thing always kind of like made me curious, because I was just like, what does that mean? So, I don't know what it is. Let's 
Sometimes some of the most intelligent people make foolish decisions by deciding out emotions rather than intellect. Which is why I must make decisions by thinking on it, not feeling on it. Well, see, that's the thing. Um, she, yeah, she does. She does make a lot of emotional decisions. Now I think about it, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of her things aren't based on logic. It's mostly based on how she feels, because she believes what's in her heart. Also, this is a fairly easy boss battle. Kill them. He's so close. All right, so spear. By the way, Pansy, just because I'm curious about it, can you look up what weight damage is for V2R? Because I keep seeing that pop up, and it just makes me so curious about what the hell it is. <laughs> like, I honestly don't know. That's right, we killed the uh, Kel's Crest. <laughs> Thankfully, we did that, because I kind of forgot that that was a quest we had to do. Yeah. No more available ones. Okay. Not, not, not weight damage, like weight as in time. Because I keep seeing that pop up in the battles, and I'm not sure what it means. So I got I got a little bit of money now, yeah. So we can actually get some probably some more skills for these people too. Bam, bam. Oh yeah, I gotta give him the Mandarin slap. Yeah, let's get that one too. There you go. Now she got a force uh, skill. Yeah, weight damage. Yeah. Don't go broke while I research. I will try not to. <laughs> Brady Rap Pandora. Oh yeah, that's right, you can do that now too. Yeah, you should get that. Look at this. I'm curious about this. There's apparently a, uh, it's apparently her Lily ability. Okay, let's get some for her too. Also, I think I, I just remember too. That's kind of like the other thing I like about this game as well too, is the fact that 
Um, you don't have to set everything into a combo. You just have it actually all... Once you buy it out, it's part of your move list, and you can use it whenever you want during battles. Like, that's really cool. Uh, weight damage. Just how long y until you... Weight damage is just how long until your next turn. Using up a whole string of combos will leave you waiting longer until the next time the character comes up for their turn. Hmm. Mm. Okay, I get it. So, so by doing some combos, like in in a long string like that, you actually make your character weigh more, and that and then concludes the weight damage. Okay, I get ya. Let's do. Let's give her. Oh, she on. Celestial severance. Ooh. Yeah, you need that actually. hidden treasure for that, so we don't need the her anymore really there. So maybe we can move Dengeki. Yeah, she already figured out the hidden treasure for herself, so we can probably do that for her. Oh, nice. And we found another dungeon. Nice. Alright, we're going to deploy you to the new dungeon that we just got. The Golden Summit. Cool. Oh right, then the, then the Plunker Cave. Oh, that's not really a new place, but yeah, I get you. All right, route building. Okay, yeah, let's get it. I thought the route that they found was like up here, but I guess that also works. Anyways. first. <laughs> the fact that he just keeps saying the jump stuff. So funny. Rahuna Spear, let's see this. Ooh, okay.
That's the only thing I like about this too, that you can just cancel out a combo and just do damage to one specific thing. Probably should have checked if there was a uh, guild quest to do here, because there probably was. But eh. Welcome back. Ooh. Oh, that's right. There's a oh, there's a thing up there. Okay. Hello. This is confusing. The best level of the game. <laughs> Please play out the Miss Busty dialogue when you fight Big Neptune. <laughs> oh yeah? Play out the Miss Busty dialogue. I'm trying to remember what part that was. Is it after you fight the big the big Neptune or is it before it? Every <laughs> Game loser, we're going shopping. Ten points if you know what that's from. Um I'm not sure if I do. It happens when you fight Big Neptune. Okay. So you mean before the fight? Because I'm not sure if I can tell when that's going to be or not. I'm assuming it's, assuming it's whenever I go into the uh, the one point that's at the end of this. Uh, I need to go the other way now. Wah. 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 Be like the ASMR of uh, jumping anime girls. <laughs> Hello, bit. That's easy, bit. Played out before, yeah. Look, you're checking out food again. Okay. Ouch! Ah, <laughs> 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 never him can fit and reach him. Let's see how it looks in this game. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> All the special attacks are so good in this game. <laughs> I'm just here for a tiny bit. I gotta finish my room. I seriously can't get my, uh, to my bed or on my bed. Oh yeah, that that's a problem. Yeah, you probably want to clear some of that. Oh, X round. Um, that's for, uh, that's for you. Ooh, okay. More magical defense, but less physical. Um, 
gives you more power combo damage. Which I think you... No, wait. Yeah, you use Rush, so... Yeah, this is still better for you, then. Oh, right. I don't have scouts. Found another dungeon! Ooh. I need more scouts. Which I think I, I think to do I think to get more scouts I need to increase the public relation level. Oh, there must have been something up there that I missed. I destroyed my room worse than what it was. Oh god. I sleep on the floor now. I'll send you big before and after, damn. Okay then. I would say we weren't we're just supposed to clean the room. Isn't that technically the opposite of what was the uh, the intended point? Oh wait, I think I see what I have to do. I think I have to jump over here. Yeah, I have to jump over to this platform. And there's a teleportal over here. You'll see. I am Tornado Bree. <laughs> well then. Ooh. I know. Elite dress. Um, is that for you? Yes, yeah, for you. All right, her elite dress. Ah, I love how it looks. Please tell me it's good. Okay, it is good. Yes, it's actually very good. All right, you're wearing it. <laughs> oh, I forgot I got the elite ribbon a while ago for you too. Yeah, it goes with the outfit, too. Alright, this one gave me more credits, but... Eh, this one's still better. Damn, <laughs> brr. Tornado br Tornado Brigo, brr. <laughs> ah! Hello. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Oh, no, I can't get back right now, right? Yeah, I need to go back around. No! <laughs> Why would you do this to me, game? Why? I feel betrayed. Alright, well, now I gotta go back around through here again. I'm remembering it. I think, yeah... As much as, like, half of the game was, uh, the, the dialogue, half of it was also just me just getting fucking lost in the dungeons. Especially these ones. These ones are always a pain in the ass. Wah. drop down for that, though, which I bet you is probably something pretty nice, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, X round S. Okay, that's her, um, that's another one of her processors. Her shoulders, that's right. Okay, it's worse on that end, but it gives her more magical damage, which could be nice. But not necessarily right now. It's ultimately not very worth it, at least. Oh, is that a way to go over all the way to there?
Uh, there's gotta be a teleporter that goes over there. Oh wait, that's right, I already went over there. Okay. Now I just need to, yeah, circle back around to here. Wah. 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 I do love platforming in my JRPG. No! <laughs> no reason I love the run button. Literally sprint away from the enemies. What are, I would say, what are those emotes? It's actually hard for me to see them at any right here. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a tornado thing, though. <laughs> okay, hold on. Before I go into this, to make sure that, pan that Pandy's back, because he wanted to see this scene specifically. Look at that new rhythm game I told you about. It get hard. <laughs> oh, do? It get hard? <laughs> I, I haven't tried it out yet, so I'm not sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the tornadoes. Okay. Yay. I'm back. Ravioli's done. I have garlic bread in the oven. For the most part, my food's not nice. Okay. Well, I'm about to get into the scene. Um, oh god, how do I do the auto again? I know square is to skip it, so I think it's Y. No. B? No, B is to stop it. I think it was RB, right? Yeah. あの二人か。どうしてここまで来られてもやっかいだな。では、ここは私に任せてもらおうか。あ、いいよ。ネプチューヌを使う。不安だな。あいつが勝てるとは思え。それが有効なのだよ。特、あのネプティアに対して。あ
本当本当だよだからちょっと一緒にこっち来ようねはいネプテューヌ仕事だあマジッチ見て見て、yeah. ランブタに芸を覚えさせたんだねえねえ何何出荷よこんな No way <笑>豚に芸を仕込めと言った<笑>兄はこの豚どもを檻に入れろと言ったはずだろうが I love her <笑>けどランブタたちが檻の中は狭いから嫌だって言ってるしな檻の中はあ、no good、はあ、いいからさっさと檻の中に入れろそして豚どもも檻の中に入れやだよ I don't wanna の分際で私をおちょくるとはいい度胸だ焼き豚にしてやるぞ何それ怖いちょっとマジェッチ怖いランブタが怖がってるからやめなよ<笑>てか私に用があったんじゃないの、okay. そうだったな貴様には別の仕事ができた He says before I meet her so I, I, I think this is still like technically not part of the thing ならじゃあこれあげる。Okay, here we go. これはご親切に<笑>ありがとうございますわ。Right? Somewhere around here, maybe at least? <笑>冷たくて、喉越しもよくて、美味しいですわ。<笑>口にあって何よりだよ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。So, this is your favorite scene, Pansy? Or one of your favorite scenes? Basically, just all dialogue involving Big Neptune. I、uh, gotcha. Well, I mean, if we read all of Big Neptune's dialogue, then we're gonna be here for a while. I agree, though, she is very nice. <laughs> I like her. Sequence, we can see, we can still skip the rest. Yeah, I got you. I'm not 
Yeah, so much, much of it actually. I love how he just stands there and takes it, like, no no flinching animation whatsoever, even. I know it's because she is in her guarding animation, but still, it's so funny to see. Neptune and Chad. Hey, I probably haven't seen this move yet. There we go. Okay, so far not going too badly. Chad can take all those hits and not flinch at once. Yeah, apparently we're doing the same thing too, though. Ultimate Chad game. Everyone who hates it, their versions, which explains why Chris, why Chris hates. It. Damn, man! All the shade being thrown at Chris. Much shade, indeed. And let's yeah, finish all the broken fannings. All the shade, though, man. God damn. Pansy going off. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to believe that we are friends with people who don't like this game, though, isn't it, Pansy? <laughs> How blind they are to the truth. Come on, I know it's all a good one. Yeah. レベルアップです。やっぱり強い。別人でもネプテューヌのだけはありますわね。ネプギアと巨乳のお姉さんも十分強いって。ネプギアもこの間よりも格段に強くなってるよね。レベルも高くなってるし、そりゃ当然か。
それに足止めしなきゃいけない時間とか言われてないんだだから私的にはもうお仕事完了って感じかなキュームあなた何を考えてそれじゃあまたねルブギア<笑>巨乳のお姉さん<笑>お姉ちゃん待って行ってしまいましたわねお姉ちゃんどうして<笑>気になるのはわかりますが、今は S 社を止めるのが先ですわよ。はい、わかってます。わかってるんですが。私以上に関係があったため、まりきれないのはしょうがありませんわ。でしたら、yeah, その思い出す。S 社のことは、私たちのあのネプテューヌが、私たちの前に立ちはだかったということは、何かしら S 社と関係しているということですわ。つまり、S 社さんが秘密結社と何かつながりがあるということですか私の考えが正しければですわ。Alrighty. Onward. I heard she kept first calling herself Bert. <laughs> you see, it doesn't translate very well. But yeah, I, I, I get what it's supposed to be. Because instead of instead of beru, it's beru. Because <laughs> I guess it's easier to say in Japanese. It's time to duel. Oh, that's right. We gotta go against these guys. Ow, he hurts. Is it me or is the doggo models look more creepy in this game? Eh. I don't know. I don't think they look any more creepy than they usually do. <laughs> Though I also don't think they look creepy in general. I think that's just you, Pansy. <laughs> Also, they hurt. Ah! Ow! Ow! Jesus Christ! Alright, you need to heal yourself next turn. No, they cannot. This thing is always so interesting. Oh, 
Now. Now. Leave Nefgear alone. She can't take as much damage as Bird can. She doesn't have the plot arm. <laughs> she isn't equipped with that kind of plot yet. I can get a ball. I knew it. Wow. Alright, we killed the we got the dog man at least. And there we go. Yeah, the other one too. Those are getting level ups consistently throughout the battles though. Still the funniest attack, yes. I laughed for about half a minute when I first saw it. Well, yeah, you, you mean uh, Neb Geardum, right? Yeah. I love that attack. It's so perfectly executed. <laughs> It's both that one and um, the fucking pudding attack that um, Big Neptune does. It's like one of my favorite attacks in the game. Death by Nick. <laughs> Death by Nepya. <laughs> yes. This place is so confusing to get around. Eh. Ooh, round. Waste. Okay. I too wish to per <laughs> perish by Neptune's giant pudding mountain. <laughs> Right though. Okay, it's better in ranks. Um, does have better damage output? Let's put it on. All right, I'm gonna go to this one first. Hey. hey. Me. Pig Persona. Pig Persona? Is that a... Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, a little Persona mask. Okay. I get it. It's not really that much better, though. Yeah, we'll keep the Elite Ribbon. It goes with the uh, outfit anyways. Personally, I prefer getting perished by Verts. Well, I think you know where I'm going with this. Oh yes, with her gigantic spear. Oh, this is the end of it, right? This is the next place I need to go to. Okay, we need. Well, we know where we need to go now. Um, but I want to know. Where all the other stuff goes to. Uh, find out a way to reach it. <laughs> I can almost reach it. Now what I meant, but close enough. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, I, I have a feeling I know what you were trying to imply with that, but still. She does have quite a massive spear.
That's Guzzi. <laughs> Paris. I love how strong my girls are now. <laughs> Green cat glasses. They're also like level forty something too, so that kind of also makes me think that they are pretty getting they are getting pretty strong. Okay, that's for her, I think. Yeah, a green cat with glasses. Ah. Okay, not as much experience gain, but do get more credits. What is her experience doing? She does, she does get a little bit more experience in Vert anyway right now, so maybe she doesn't really need it. She could probably use the defense up though for sure. Okay. Yep. And that way we have something that kind of goes with the outfit. Just another reason on the long list of why she's the best goddess. <laughs> they need more grinding. Vert, more, Vert must further prove that she is the best. <laughs> well, we also need to continue on with the plot because we need to make sure we get all the other characters so they get their spot in the shot. There, they get their their shine in the spotlight. You know, equality, pansy. <laughs> Do First, see what this one goes. Hello. Round large. Okay. Uh, not round large. Round legs. For her legs. Okay, it does give her more defense. It gives her more rush damage, which is pretty nice. She does use rush moves. Why, for superior guys? Well, you know, there's, you know, a bunch of other characters in this game, and I think they're all just as just as good, if not somewhat better than Vert. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I, I I know you couldn't wrap your head around a concept such as that, but that's what I believe. Online gaming plate. What the hell is that? the hell is that for? Oh, it's an accessory. For Vert. Okay. Was not expecting that. Oh! Oh, I get it. It's like the name tag that appears above a person's head when they're online. Okay. I get ya. I actually, it's kind of funny actually. I like that. <laughs> Does she get, she still gets a ribbon in the back at least, so she's not like completely naked back there. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. I've never seen that before. There's no one better than Vert. Anyone who says the contrary is wrong. Alright, I'm wrong then, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we can give the other guys a bit of time too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blonde and Neptune give two minutes and Noir gets five minutes. Oh, how generous.
another dungeon. Okay. Oh wait, um, we haven't checked the other one, right? Yeah, we need to check what's up behind this one too. B. Ah, I found the one for her. What is the B for again? For her back. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I mean, a color scheme fits with her more, at least, for sure. Why not? Okay, now we've visited... Yeah, now we've visited every spot. So now we can continue on with the plot. We just gotta go back, yeah, to the center. This one, right? Yeah. Onward. And wha? Bryonac? And Angel Wings. Okay. That's definitely a new weapon, I think, right? Yeah. Ah, if only it wasn't. <laughs> if only it wasn't worse than what I have. Though, to be fair, it's only a hundred attack less. And it gives me all rush, which is kind of cool. Because I do like a lot of Vert's um, rush combos. So giving her something that would give her that much more is kind of cool. Also, look at all those other stats it gives. This, these things give. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with what I got. <laughs> Although I also forgot about um, statuses. Kind of forgot about this thing too. The the parameter boost I can give people. Yeah, that's um that's pretty much needed. There we go. That seems about good. It's so weird not seeing save points anymore. Because the game just auto saves. That's everything that's kind of like a good thing about this game the fact that it has auto saves. <laughs> right, I forgot about the saving. I really wish Rebirth 3 had that feature. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's only in the new Neptunia games, because then they, they finally figured out how to implement it into their games. 
We shall save the rest of it for my next thing. Or actually, broken fanning, so I forgot we can do that. Ooh. Okay, not bad. Actually, I want to, I want to do Celestial Severance, so I'm only going to do a simple little slash this turn. Wah! I still get flashbacks after losing five hours of progress while trying to get to the true ending. <laughs> oh yeah. What 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 made it so you lost a lot of progress? Was it like a, a system reset or something like that? Or just like or just like an accidental death, maybe? Cause if that's if that's the case, man, you gotta save frequently, man. <laughs> that's all I can say. You gotta save frequently. Celestial Severance. He got killed. Yeah. I'll do it. Nice. It looks really nice in this game, though. Also, kind of forgot. The, I, for, I forgot how the items worked in this game. Yeah, they seem to work a little bit differently in this game. Yeah. So, so, so it was actually during your grinding is when you accidentally did it. That's always unfortunate. When you die in the middle of grinding, you're just like, they, they didn't kill me before, why did they kill me now? <laughs> okay, hyper heal yourself. Luckily, I recovered surprisingly well. I thought I had to go through thousands of forms again just to get back to where I was, but I was surprisingly able to get back to where I was in about an hour with very little reference. Damn, man. I did not want to go through all that again. Yeah, very fair. I don't think anyone would. Yep, good, um. We're almost dead. There we go. Go back. Um, also, yeah, let's 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 increase public relations because I feel like I think public relations always gil will give us a new scout, which I kind of would need more of. I don't really have that many. Hey, you there? Are you green hearts? What? 
this person. There's no mistake. He just called my name with crosses attached. <laughs> Why does he know all my on of my online name? <laughs> of course not. I heard that someone called Greenheart was seen around here, but different person. Of course you aren't her. Right. I'm neither than the CPU Greenheart. It seems my name is becoming all well known. <laughs> CPU. Now that person I'm looking for is that legendary online gamer who hasn't been online so much lately. Strange. For some reason, I felt you resembled that guildmaster. Sorry for stopping you. I know, I know, I don't know if I'll make up for it, but here, build X plan. Okay, energy mate. Cool. Thank you. Just that. Without that guy, guild matches during is fun. That person was definitely the leader of the guild I fought with previously. That I remember, right? Just a while ago, there's a strong flavor who would recklessly challenge me solo and put, fight, put quite a fight. And that during withdrawal symptoms, I have been able to log in. Definitely logging on today. <laughs> Okay, well, we got Energy Mate, which I think is... It, I know that's for um, upgrading our people. Which I think we can do through here. Yeah, we can level them up through here. We really need to get more scouts, though. I don't know how we get more scouts. I think we just had to search for them in the things, because I know I've been getting like a lot that way. But, um... Then Giki go. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna level up you. Search success rate by 39%, nice. And then Famitsu probably too. Yeah, Famitsu will get it too. There you go. Alright, um... And now... Wait a minute. Yep, of course there was things for them. I, I just forgot to take them. Alright, well I took them now. <laughs> I can't rep report on these either because I have to actually go out and fight them. <laughs> God damn it. I think that's right. Yeah, okay. The story comes to an end for now. <laughs> Alright, and we're done with uh, Vert's story. <laughs> Alright, um, next... We will do, um, I think we'll do, we'll, we'll go down the line like how we did before, where we do Neptunes and Noirs and Balans. Or Noirs first. <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion, Pansy. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It makes sense. We saw the PlayStation Showcase today, and they had some good stuff. Why, why not celebrate it by using Noir, right? I mean, I mean, she is whatever best girl. I, I, don't, I don't remember how your ranking is again. <laughs> also, damn, even this place looks really nice. Goddamn. Also, if you could, <laughs> if you bring the camera up enough on the hill, you actually can see right under the the, the map. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do that. Second best. Okay, yeah. I I, th I was gonna say second best, but I wasn't sure if that was the right ordering or not. Also, I'm gonna make sure that she has that she's actually like the she has all the stuff that I want on her. Technically, all of these are good for her. But I like to look at the crystal blade and the steel blade. Ooh, soul rapier. All of them look really cool. The Famitsu Blade definitely looks the most wonkiest, which is kind of why I like it the most. Yeah. Oh wait, um, speaking of the Famitsu Blade though, what does it give us? Brush and then two powers. That's fine with me. So I do definitely think we need to up her ante a little bit, because she doesn't really have very much at the very start. Although I only have enough to buy one. Um, may as well get the highest one. Since she starts with a rush ability anyways, right? Alright, these guys are also... 
you guys are also on standby because technically their things are um, um, not able to be done yet. Oh, that's right, we, we, we don't technically have a dungeon for them to go through yet because we're only exploring the one. We haven't gotten to the world map yet. Okay, one shot. <laughs> yeah, how 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 would you like to have this girl come up to you and just beat her, beat you up with her oversized Famitsu blade? You wouldn't, Badsy. Witch's hat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Go ahead, man. Uh, 
Pod. Pod. World Tree Leaf. Nice. So yeah, from what I understand too, um, those like World Tree Leaves and everything like that, those are kind of actually used for um, healing stuff. Because I, I was able to like do a healing thing during battle because of some of these things. There's like a, a little bit of a difference between the uh, how the items work in this game, which is kind of cool. Also, I can get our skill for her. Let's get her. Uh, let's get her a better power. Actually, so get to get near cannabis. You need that one. Charge S. Get that one though. Almost get him with that. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Hello. Okay, I know I got I gotta face him. The Forbidden Twig. Um, what is that? See, I don't think it's one of these. This only has a weapon. I don't know why I'm searching under this. Um, no, it's not a weapon. What is it actually then? Forbidden Twig. Oh, here it is. This is an item I can use. A branch that calls forth an enemy. Place branch on the ground. Step two. Step on branch, making a snapping sound. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so you can just call an enemy to you if you use this. That's a cool way to do it. Angel Wing revives the KO power member. Oh, okay. Oh, so they do the same thing as life fragments. Oh, so, so I'm guessing angel wings can probably be used in, as an item during battle or something like that, under a certain different kind of means. Yeah, I don't know how all the uh, those skills work yet, because I haven't really gone into this. Yeah, because now items in this game are item skills, so they take like they they take like a turn point to use, and then you can uh, use the stuff. And I guess with this thing, you can, um, yeah, it, if you use, like, a Crimson Stone or a Gale Stone, it actually makes it a, uh, it turns into a healing circle or a healing rain. And that way it covers an area, which is a cool idea. Yeah, this turns into an exuberant lump. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling. 
charge in the clear. The stick is now up my ass. Well, damn. I don't know how I got there. Maybe you got confused when it told you to set it down on the ground. <laughs> Last choice. He even uses bubbles. <laughs> I got a show. Alright, and now we can finally deploy our scouts somewhere. Alright, Dengeki go? Yeah, definitely go in here. I see. No places to build routes to. Okay. Um, let's get public relations up one. I think we might get something for this at least. Yenoir, yes? That's right, you're a kid from the city, right? Is there something you need? I knew it. Here, this is thing for making the city better. Please accept it. Stone Grey Plan, Energy Mate. That's right, so I get plans for doing the public relations in this one. And Energy Mate, which is always nice. Oh yeah, I have 6 too. I can actually level her up. Perfect. <laughs> Why not? Let's make her level 4. And get I am great. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I get more items. There we go. I need to get more scalps, though. That's what I want. Oh boy. Um... Yeah. Okay. I'm just kind of skimming over the things, because I kind of... I feel like these are all the same from the last game. At least their details. Okay. Right, I forgot you could just buy CPU chips. It's... Hold on. <laughs> this is a worthy investment. This is a worthy investment. Um, where do I put those in again? Here we go, okay. <laughs> this is, this is important. <laughs> Ram! I love how they, they, they put these in this game as well, too. Ooh, the Planted Sisters. Ooh, we got a rare card, let's go. Hey, Greenheart! Perfect. Good old Neptune. Alright, well, they're all good. They're all new. So that's good. I mean, we there's a very low chance of us getting a dupe, but it was always possible.
were they? <laughs> All right. I'm just kind of skimming over these again. Alchemy, of course. I had the alchemist. And Yako. Take a rest around here. Um, I might remember the scene. It would take 10, 15 years to build the network to build this command. Games for your house. I think I remember this. We play games with our enemy. We read manga together. You from another world? Yeah, I think I think that's right. That's what it was. It was um, foreshadowing. I think that's what it was. And there's these little parts of the game too. Oh yeah, the kitten. Oh, I love the kitten. Meow. I forgot they call her blonde, right? <laughs> yeah, I like I like blonde, <laughs> blonde the cat. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, I remember this. Keisha, where did she go? What's this cardboard box? Bonk. <laughs> Why are you in a cardboard box? Why aren't you in a cardboard box? Yeah, this this whole arc was interesting. I also forgot that you spent a lot of time here before going out to do stuff. More scouts, perfect. Um, yeah, I get that one. All right, back we go. Whee. So much filler. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, not really filler. It, it was plot, but a lot of this game's plot can feel like feel like filler because of how uh, how much there is. Yeah, it was basically just to get us adjusted to Keisha as a character, because Keisha is a really good character, not gonna lie. I did get very attached to her. And of course, she went full Yandere mode. <laughs> it all was going perfectly fine until uh, Kurome came in. It was like, hey, you should kill her sister. <laughs> That's right, I'm like, I was like, what am I here again? Oh yeah, I can, I can do these quests. I think one of these quests is actually needed for the plot, though, or something? This game is more filler than One Piece. No, no, don't you say that. One, One Piece is, I don't even, technically, if you think about, from what I've heard, One Piece is literally nothing there, there's like no filler in it from what I've heard every, everyone who's uh, watched One Piece has told me that every episode is important to the plot <laughs> every, every single one has its own arc that they go through and things that happen to the characters so there's no filler in that in that series as long as it is if you skip an episode you'll get lost <laughs> 
or even or even god forbid if you if you skip a story arc you'll probably get lost too I don't know for sure if that's how it is because I've only watched like the first three episodes of it. But that's what I've heard from everyone I know who's watched One Piece. And by everyone I know who's watched One Piece, I mean like Alex. <laughs> because he's the only one I know who's actually bothered to go through it. Another reason why I'm not getting into that series, it's it's really, really long. Like, I heard it's really good. You just, you know. You just need to get into it. I'll probably eventually pick it up down the line, but right now I'm trying to... In terms of anime, I'm trying to just get through a bunch of other shows that are shorter and that I know aren't going to be getting um, episodes added onto it. That have their own complete arcs and everything, you know? with the series that long unless I remember it being good when I was younger. Yeah, that's fair. Like, I haven't even watched all of Naruto, but I know most of the plot because if I played all the games that kind of went over it. So I haven't really felt like I missed out on anything, you know? Rock! Alright, oh, um, hold on, that's right. Let me put in my parameter boosts. Where'd it come from? I wonder who has a gun in this game that could do that for Noir. Naruto, but I do remember being there for a few funny scenes in that show, so I might try to get back to that series. Naruto is honestly really good. I have, uh, I enjoy the series quite a lot. There's, there's basically two big main, well actually technically a lot of, there's a lot of story arcs to that show, but the two like main ones are the ones, or is the first, uh, sees the first part of the series, which is you know, just called Naruto. And then there's Naruto Shippuden, which comes right after Naruto. Because the whole part, part of first Naruto is that he he's, like, growing up to be, like, you know, this, uh, this like, grown-up ninja. And then Shippuden's all about him being a grown-up ninja. And helping the world out with its problems and everything. Best way to summarize the whole series, though. It's literally just the story of a boy growing up into a man. <laughs> and learning what he needs to do to help protect everyone he loves and everything. Also, hi, Uni. Especially love the scenes involving Pervy Sage. Oh, yes, Pervy Sage. Shiraya is such a great character. <laughs> love him. I still think um, Kakashi or uh, Sasuke is one of my favorite characters from that show. Alright, um, what you got on you? You only got the rifle, okay. 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 Yeah, you got, you got base, okay. What does your thing do again? Power, energy, energy, okay.
Okay, at least need explosive more to get to it. Which need AP cheaper, so. Yeah, may, may as well go down the line, I think, right? There we go. An hour broke. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't like face any of the character any of the things in there, so I didn't get anything for these. I can definitely get some money for this though. Like, look at all that money I can get. Excluding any yeah. Spike even are really delicious. Recently I was all in the mounds. Different the urchins I know. Oh, yeah, and then the sister comes in and then she complicates things because she's like, Oh, you're paying more attention to your sister than me. How dare you? I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> oh, yeah, and here's the urgent quest that we gotta do. So we gotta kill the exhausted jellies. All right, now time to go do that. All right, Jiro. I remember this. Oh, and I, I, I might want to watch the, a little bit of this scene because I remember, I remember liking something in this. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> yeah, see us in there, did you? <laughs> oh yeah, no, th this is the scene I was thinking of. <laughs> it's hard not to notice him. What about you? What are you reading? <laughs> I am not looking at hentai. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. Full of big hairy men. <laughs>
<laughs> you play for the other team? <laughs> yeah. Imagine looking at gay porn that had the fact that you're looking at porn. <laughs> right? You just take it a step further. Another dungeon! Ooh. Yeah, yeah, and I can send you to it too. Perfect. Go! Okay. Um. Don't suppose I can build a route to that. Nope. Okay. Oh, back into the dungeon we go. That's the thing I remember about this chapter too. There's a lot of back and forth of being like, go to the town. Go back to the one dungeon that this place has. <laughs> Fight some things. Which, I mean, to be fair, there's a good amount of things I need to fight here now. Not only the exhausted jellies, but also, like, literally everything else. Right. And this time, I got you need to help me. I want to see some of her moves, so I'm gonna not going to kill him right away. Ow. Ow. Let's do a Divine Beat of Dorade Paracos. Oh! Okay. Understandable. <laughs> okay. I yeah, just, you know, set up, casually set up a nuke. That's fine. Just set up a close range explosion. Just gonna fight everything. Because I kinda have to fight everything, anyways. What does APHC do, though? Okay. Mortar. Okay. Yeah, it is quite explosive. Not the first time you casually nuke someone on stream. <laughs> what do you mean? about the nuke scene and then kill it with fire. <laughs> oh no, I didn't forget about that scene. I just wasn't sure if that's what you were mentioning with it. I wouldn't really say that I was casually nuking them. I, I would say that I was like accidentally nuking everyone. 
<laughs> I didn't mean to. Bonk. Hold on, let me let me see how close I can get. Could <laughs> just get caught in the explosion. Look at the bright side; it all worked out in the end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, the best way to kill all the spiders is just to nuke everything. Sometimes you have to take drastic measures to do what to, <laughs> to for the greater good. Done with that at least. Um, we need to do flame front rows though. I'm not sure where the other guys are though. Maybe they appear because of the other dungeon or something. There's always a cost, but in this case the benefits greatly exceed the cost. Exactly. Now we can live in a world without spiders. <laughs> I was wondering if it would explode like that, or if it was going to make two explosions. Three more flame frienders. Yeah, actually, these guys look... Oh, wait, th these quests are probably from, um... The other part of the thing, yeah. So they, they're they different. Yeah, I think only the flame runner is the one I can do here. Yeah, obviously the red part, yeah, that's the one in the end. Yeah. I want to make sure that what I I actually did need to space it. Cause I know one of them is like the better end and one's in the other end. Maybe I just got lucky with the crits on that one. Cause I I killed that fronter in one shot before. I did it. Alright, um, 
Now, just to avoid going all the way back to the front of the thing, do we have a uh, an eject button to use? We do. We do have some. Yeah. So let's use it. Hey. Yeah. Oh yeah. How much? Actually, we're, we're gonna have more money after we do the guild stuff, so report. Yay, money. And we got a deal around, nice. Good chips for it yet, though, is the only thing. It just like, reduces magic reduction, but it makes physical go up, so it's just like, you know, not really a good thing. Also, we now have 10,000, so yeah, we should be able to get more skill for them. Hey! Nice! Alright, then get go, go to a different dungeon since you figured that one out. Go to the Aria Plateau, actually. There you go. That way we got one in every one. <laughs> Ground critical ability based on the Lily rank of the person in the rear card. Oh. Schwartz with her. Tornado sword. That could be a good one to get. And EX multi blaster. Yeah, let's get that too. The specials are usually always good to get for them. All right, the venom. Okay. semi-auto. I think it was... Yeah, I think she had power on her weapon, right? Yeah, it's... yeah, it's power power. Okay. I'm gonna make sure before I got this. Okay, now we got more things for them. Any routes? Nope. Okay. No more of those. Okay. Uh, let's converse. Okay, now can we build a route? No, okay. But we do got a new place we can go to. Um, oh, hey, the Poxvators are here. And the bits. Okay, so yeah, that's where our uh, next objectives are. Any more of these? Nope, okay. Actually, this is probably 
be a better spot for Dengeki Go to go to. I'll let I'll let her go through her thing though first though. I gotta say, though, it's interesting playing a game like this where it's like a light bit of speed running. Like, obviously, uh, there's things I could be doing to go faster if I really wanted to, but I like at least the idea of what I'm doing here, at least. So satisfying. Just boom. I'm sure it's complete glory. You should do some Neptune speed runs. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm not really good at speedrunning. And also, if I did speedrunning, I probably would do it for a game a little bit easier than Neptunia. Like, you, there, you can obviously blow through most of the plot of this game pretty quickly. That'd be ribbon. Nice. If you, especially if you know what you're doing. But, like, I don't know. You might be able to speedrun this game, but not what. I'd rather like to learn how to do, like, Sonic game speedruns first. Alright, I haven't even boosted her parameters at all. Okay, she, she gets good on tech. And a little bit of strength. Fair point. Speedrun movie instead. Speed... Oh, you mean Battle for Bikini Bottom? No, not bad. I mean this one's about movie game. I don't even know about that. Some of those platforming games might be cool to speedrun, but again, I would have to like the thing about speedrunning is you have to really sit down with the game a lot and just play it over and over again and learn how to do things in it. That's right. I I thought I originally wanted to do with these guys. I wanted to look at their things here. I'm not sure what kind of game I have to have the patience for with that, besides, you know, like a Sonic game or something like that. Heavy Ribbon. Ooh. Cut. Your tabby's attached to it, yeah. Let's put on. Speedrun Battle Run, too. <laughs> There's too many games for me to want to beat before I even want to get into the idea of speedrunning. Another game I definitely wanted to try um, learning how to speedrun is Kingdom Hearts. I feel like that's a game that would be kind of cool to learn to do speedrunning with. Because I've seen someone do it uh, within two hours, which is not that bad.
God, even the speedrun of that game is long. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of that game. There's a lot in that game to go through, to be honest. That makes sense why it would why it would be like that. That's like that's like a it's like a dream speedrun I'd like to do at least. Um, ideally, I would like to try to do games that have like very very short speedrun times though. Like I could do them within an hour. <laughs> I know, I know if like, um, what was it, with Super Mario Bros, you can do that in like, 10 minutes, something like that. Maybe even less than that. I know the speedrunning community for that game is insane. First throw fill game would be a good one to speed run. I can imagine. That game does seem very, very short actually, so that probably would be a good idea too. Oh shit, hold on. Hey, you kill more pox spaders, okay. No! Um, let's go down this way first. Maybe not. I'm not sure. That's area three. This is probably area two, right? This is also area three. Oh, actually, I, I do want to go this way first, because there's treasure. Metal dress. Black heart apron. Angel wings. Okay, cool. Cool, okay. Um, let's look at what those are like. Yeah, metal dress. Ooh, nice. Less magical defense, more HP, another ACP, which I'm not sure what that stands for. I'm starting the ability up. It actually sounds better, so yeah. And then black heart apron. Yeah, a little maid outfit. Gets more credits, and it's more resilient. Yeah, it's just better.
Yeah, now there's something like they wanted to put that one in. Now we go this way. Yeah, speedrunning is a cool idea, though. Honestly, I, I've always wanted to like try it with a game. But again, I would, I would, if I ever got into it like seriously, I'd want to try to do it with a short game first. That way, it's like something easier for me to dip my toes into, and something that's not going to take me super into amounts of time to do. Oh shit. The other thing too about that too is like I I always like the idea of uh, spearing a Sonic game because I feel like that just looks so cool to do like because the whole thing about Sonic is going fast so imagine just going as fast as you possibly can through every stage. <laughs> Oh, the game didn't like that. <laughs> the game didn't like whatever the hell I was doing right there. Um, how long has it been since we've gotten a crash in this game? There we go. Good thing for autosave, right? Yep, we didn't lose much progress because we have autosave on our side. First time I saw this one crash, I remember it on the last game. Yeah, the last game I remember crashed. Yeah, I don't think it was this one that it did though. I'll be honest, I freaked out a bit when I was starting to crash. I thought there was an issue with my computer. Yeah, no, it's just my game. No, no, no issues on your end, Pansy. Just mine. Oh, so that's a hidden treasure thing. Win without taking damage. Okay. Just three more Pox Faders and two more bits. Okay.
でーでー Hey, don't heal them. Hey, tornado sword, let's see it. Oh, wah! Oh, yeah, that's right. It just goes like that. Yes, continuing on the previous subject, first Sonic game you should speedrun should be Unleashed. I heard Unleashed is a good one. See, the only thing I need to be at first. Because <laughs> I've never been able to get past Eggman Land. I remember Eggman Land was a pain in my fucking ass. Celestion, so ooh. Don't think it's going to be any better than my current weapon, but I want to see what it looks like. Oh, fancy sword. Hey, a new dungeon found. Next team stream idea. Corey's trying to be Eggman. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's just, it's just... I didn't play that game in a long time. I would be so rusty at it. Although it's a Sonic game, so it couldn't be that rusty, right? It's just, it's just... But at the same time, still. I mean, I, I can be, at least with the, um, what is it called? With the Werehog parts. I don't really know how to do those really well and how my combos are set up. I thought about streaming Unleashed, but after hearing about Eggman Land, I had second thoughts about it. Yeah. From what I've heard, I think literally Eggman Land was like, as said by people, like one of the hardest Sonic stages ever made. Like, canonically at least. Because there's probably been mods of people who made like really hard stages before, but I think that's the hardest one that's made it into canon games. I did plan on doing the original Sonic Colors on stream. I was finally able to find a little copy of it. Oh, nice. I know. I know. I have a. Yeah. I did. I did the ultimate version on it, which wasn't too bad, honestly. If I played that on launch, it probably would have been hectic. But since I played it after they patched a lot of the stuff out, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I just need to kill more bits. Which I think are hiding in these guys. But apparently not that much. Oh, there's a bit. God, I was trying to attack you. Oh, 
Wait, I can do Tornado Sword here, right? Yeah. Whoa! Just killed everything there. And you're definitely dead. I sold my copy of Ultimate when I completed it. I kind of regret doing that now. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Obviously, you, yeah, usually when you complete a game, there's not really much else you can do with it. Unless you just want to go back and play it. Like, you know. Yeah, usually I, I only will ever get rid of games if I really feel like I will never play them again. And most times out of 10, I, I do. Or I should say I don't technically. Most times out of 10, I don't really ever want to play them again. Did I kill all the guys yet? No, I need to kill one more. I felt so done with it that I didn't want to see it again. But after a while, I started to get to urge to play it again, and now I can't because I don't have any more. Yeah, see, you never really know about that kind of stuff. That's why sometimes it's better just to keep a hold on to it in case you ever do feel that urge. Because, uh, a passion for that kind of game kind of, like, you know, comes and goes, really. I've gotten like that before, too, or I've just picked up an old game I really liked again because I just wanted to play it again. Before I continue on to this event, um, first of all, hello, cool. Second of all, let's see what's back here, because I think there are some areas here I haven't gone to yet. Yep, and there is a treasure back here. I had a feeling. Revolver gun, A, hey, a new thing for Uni. Ooh, okay, shorter range, but... More power. And a higher firing rate, yeah, so it has more accuracy. And a higher firing rate, so yeah, it just has more power. Okay. Why not? I don't think I use that. I don't think I need to use all that range anyways. Ah, shit, hello there. Uh... Did the same with my cooking mama game. I got so annoyed that I didn't care about completing it at the time. <laughs> the only game I don't regret selling is Sonic Media. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, I got my copy of um, Sonic Mania digitally, so and I already put enough hours where I can't really refund it. That's the only like downside of getting digital games is that it's very hard to get to sell them back. Um, meanwhile, with physical games, you can exchange those like nothing. 
I I I remember uh, before when I was um doing stuff with the uh, with my physical game collection, and I went through all the ones I didn't really want anymore. I ended up selling like a bunch of them that I didn't want anymore, and got like a bunch of credit for them. <laughs> Sonic Mania isn't bad per se. I just got fed up with getting stuck at certain parts to the point where I didn't want to play anymore. Ah, I got gotcha. you. I think I think I eventually got to that kind of point in that game too, because I remember getting to a point in there where I got annoyed with something. But yeah, ultimately, yeah, definitely. Unless you have a strong desire to want to be in fleet, play this with the game. If the game ever gets to a point where you just feel annoyed with it or you just like uh, don't want to play anymore, definitely should just just put it down for a while. If you ever feel like going back to it, then you can. But you know. Generally, it's always best to just walk away from that kind of thing. Because it's not worth the stress on your mind. God damn it. several games so far recently. Yeah. Told them I just removed my back lottery because I couldn't be allowed to go back to them. I did that I did that too before. I definitely done that before where it's like I played a game uh, that I originally had in my back lottery listed and then after playing it through I was just like I'm never gonna beat this <laughs> and then I just got rid of it. <laughs> I'm just like who am I kidding with this? Ow This guy is tough. Thanks for the help. I kind of forgot about their HD, to be honest. Might help a little bit. Also, I haven't really seen their transformation sequence yet, so I may as well. Well...
I was doing a thing where it's cutting out the uh, audio again. That's always fun. I I know it fixes itself if I just uh, if I just go through and uh, restart the game, but we're we're kind of at the ending point of this thing anyway, so I don't mind just hearing it out for a little bit. But ow. Uni has left us. This is Uni always showing off her butt to us. What's with most characters showing off their butt to us? There's a lot of characters in this game that show their ass, to be honest. Let's report these quests. Get some mula. Yeah. Um, also, since we're on it too, um, not that disc. Nope, still not enough. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. I'll worry about the other things later. Right, I think I already checked that. Nothing new to accept. Okay, let's converse with everyone. Okay, and all that's left is to go into that place, which I will do uh, next stream. Let me just walk back here. There we go, so we can auto save the game. And that's going to be it. Oh boy. Ah. Uh. We got a decent. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I was just like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna beat all the uh, character stories today." No, <laughs> we got through. We got through Verts, and then we're like maybe halfway through Noirs now. So, we still got a good amount of ways to go. It's probably gonna take us a good couple of streams just to get past these arcs. Cause I, I think it took us two streams to get through all of the arcs. Or to get through one of the arcs, I should say. So yeah. Nah, it's it's too late right now. I need I need to go to bed. I'm also tired. <laughs> but yeah. Um we'll definitely be picking this up next week though. <sighs> I'm fine with the other girls doing it, especially for it. <laughs> uh, so you, you, you just don't want Uni doing it because she's uh she's a bit more on the risk. <laughs> On the risky side <laughs> of the age spectrum. Well, I mean, technically all the sisters are because, you know, they're supposed to be, I think, a little bit younger than their regular CPUs, but yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's, at, le at, at least we're not seeing that kind of fan service from uh, Ram and Ram. <laughs> Ram and Rams are mostly uh, very cutesy. I think the only they only get that kind of treatment in the go in their HD forms. But on Nefgear, right? Well, I mean, Nefgear is still technically younger than Neptune, so there's that. <laughs> she might look older, but you know, she still is. <laughs> it's it's weird to think about that too, because Nefgear is like, you know, she has 
She look she looks older because especially with like how her body is developed. But Neptune's actually the older one, even though she like looks way younger. <laughs> She's not that much younger. Well, yeah, they're probably like in a year apart, but still. I, I, all I'm saying is just just look up the ages for these characters later. You'll it'll, it'll explain a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you liked it, please like it and subscribe. And follow if you wish to see more of this in the future. Um, we're gonna be doing hopefully maybe. Mm, actually, I don't, I don't know if we can do it tomorrow. Well, I think I'm gonna be pretty busy tomorrow. So. Another Steam stream for sure, though, next Monday. Um, we're gonna probably do... Uh, I think we're just gonna do a new game. We're gonna we're gonna try out a new game. I'm not, I'm not sure what game yet, but uh, I'll decide it over the next week. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, for that stream. Thrillville? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Bye-bye now.